Hello everyone, uh, today we've got something pretty special. Uh, last October I went over to the Martin factory in Nazareth, Pennsylvania and I was lucky enough to go to the custom shop and spec out some amazing, amazing guitars, go through uh, their stash of unbelievable t timbers from Brazilian rosewood, koa, ash, maple, you name it, Martin's got it there as well and we spec'd out some really cool guitars and we've just taken delivery of them this morning. Uh, we, what we've basically done is we've got them out of the boxes and out of the bags, but we've not actually looked inside the cases yet. We did it this way just to save a bit of time basically, rather than opening up the uh, cardboard boxes and the, uh, this video taking even longer than it's probably going to be anyway. But come on through, let's go and have a look. So there's 13 different guitars, all have got different specs, all different woods. Come on through everyone. Here we go, we set up a nice area on the stage to do the big reveal. Oh, uh, got all my minions helping me. Right, here we go. Look at that. Right, so stage is set, we're all ready to go. So let's bring on the first guitar. Right, so we haven't looked at any of these guitars yet. Yeah, pop it on there. Right, here we go. So, I'm guessing it's going to be some kind of dreadnought. Oh, actually, what does the tag say? Yeah, custom, uh, custom dreadnought. Uh, it's got Madagascan rosewood back and sides. Let's hope they've all survived the journey anyway, because we've not actually looked at any of these yet. So here we go. I always forget one on the back. Oh, very good. Oh my God, look at that. Beautiful. Bear claw spruce top, look at that. Look at the binding as well, if we can get that there, that maple binding. It's got those, look at those, uh, see if we can get a close up on those, um, those tuning pegs there. Lovely bit of inlay, 42 style. It's gonna sound epic, isn't it? Straight out of the box. Beautiful. So there we go, number one. And uh, each of these guitars, I will say, is they come with this really nice booklet that uh, the lovely folks at Westside in the UK who are the Martin distributors have helped put together. Each one comes with a really, really nice like leather bound, hand tooled little book. Check that out. With a nice little certificate there with a seal number. And also, I think it's got the specs inside there as well. Yeah, let's have a quick gander at this one. Let's see what actually the full specs are. Vintage tone system, okay, sweet, lovely. Madagascan rosewood, yeah, like we said for the, uh, for the back. Right, let's move on, because otherwise it will take ages to go through all the specs and stuff like that. But that's just giving you an idea of what each of these guitars come with. So I specced out all these guitars with, uh, with Johnny X from Westside and Brent at Martin. And I know uh, that Carmen at Martin as well also helped us out with some of the specs on some of these things. So, um, oh, let's just move it. We can do all that later, can't we? Well, we'll put the first one over here. Next one. So this, what have we got? This one is, oh, it's got Tasmanian Blackwood on there. That's what it says. that absolutely amazing it's got that almost color kind of look to it as well nice sort of v profile to the neck so you check out the headstock on that as well nice faux tortoise shell binding on there absolutely stunning amazing right so what you see in here is probably going to be the largest selection of custom shop guitars from Martin that you probably see uh, in Europe. There's probably only a handful of shops even in America that have got as many as what we have now. So if you're thinking of treating yourself to a, a tasty acoustic guitar, along with all the other stuff that we have, you know, this will be the best selection of Martin you'll ever see. Let's have a gander. What is it? Quilted maple. Let's have some quilted maple. Oi! Hot for dama! Check that out. Amber tone finish. 
Where's, where's Big Al? He's gone. That's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. With that head plate. So we'll be getting demos together of all these guitars. Adam will be shooting some uh, photos of them today as well. So we'll get some nice tasty high res images up there later. Let's uh, move on to the next one. We got here. Right, this one's Claro Walnut. I don't think I've ever seen another Martin, not that we've certainly had in stock, with uh, walnut back and sides. So, oh my God, it's a full walnut finish. I went totally S extend, didn't I? Oh my God. Beautiful. It's like that triple O um, 28K thing that we've got, the 12 fret one, but on walnut. Where's the, uh, the Instagram camera? Oh, it's over there. Just giving him a little, little plug there as well. You like that one, Joel? Nice. Nice, nice piece. What we got here? So it's a bit of quilted boobinga. Very, very nice. Beautiful inlay on the top there as well. Yeah, I mean, these got to be some of the, the nicest Martins I think I've ever seen. I would say that though, because I spec them all out. What we got next? So, aha, uh -huh, we've got some highly, highly flamed color. I think it's going to be the big one. Is it going to be the big one? Oh, it's going to be good. So it's like that Mayer stagecoach. Go away, fly. That's my favourite so far. Everyone in agreement? Beautiful. Amazing. So a little bit more background on the Martin Custom Shop. I've been to a load of different custom shops. I've been quite lucky to, on my travels to go to the Gibson Custom Shop and Fender Custom Shop and, and all that kind of stuff. But I thought the, uh, the Martin one, oh, you know, and aside from being my favorite guitar factory to go to anyway, it was just the, the most kind of unique experience, I guess, of uh, being able to choose the woods and just talk to all the builders and, and all those guys absolutely, and gals, absolutely, live and breathe what they do. And um, you know, some of these guitars that Martin are making now are probably the best guitars they've, they've ever made. So this one's uh, Pacific Big Leaf Maple. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is, um, oh yeah. Now, who doesn't like that? You don't like that, you've got something wrong with you. So it's like the CEO 7 that they did. But yeah, look at that. Amazing. So we've gone in lots of different sizes, shapes, specs, different woods, all different stuff. And there's quite a kind of quite a lot of uh, different price points here. Um, but each of these guitars, I guess you're never ever going to see anything like this ever again anywhere else. <laughs> you know, it took a long time to get the specs right for these guitars to get everything exactly now down to how we wanted them to be, because you know. Um, we know a lot of people, you know, when you, when you spend all this money on the guitar, you want it to look amazing as well. Some cool bragging rights to your mates who's got the coolest and sweetest guitar. So what we got inside here? Right, wild grain East Indian rosewood on the, for the back and sides. Lovely looking headstock. Yeah, beautiful. Very nice, just kind of simple dreadnought. Really nice headstock veneer on there as well. Beautiful. God, it's boiling in here, I'm sweating. Because it's kind of, um, you know, when you put your, uh, your neck on the line and you spec out all these guitars that cost all this money, you've got to be sure that they're going to be nice sounding and nice looking guitars as well. So a bit of pressure on me. But they're all looking cool so far. One. It's always up, always one. 
All right, what we got here? Cockabolo! Oh. That's got to be the daddy, isn't it? What do you think, Wolfie? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Really nice. Cool. Right, how many more we got left, Joel? Four left. Four left. Okay, well, we've got some big hitters there. How are we going to do any better than that? Right, have I missed another one? Blackwood for this one. Something a little bit more simple, a little more elegant. Very nice. Nice bit of sapwood there. On the back, they've matched up really nice. That's really, really classy. Triple O style, 14 fretter. Lovely. All right. Moving on. Uh, wild grain East Indian rosewood again. Stunning. That binding on there as well. Beautiful. Looks like coa, or maybe, or maybe blackwood binding. Nice bit of uh, Essex tan on the top there. Wooden buttons as well. That is beautiful. Nice little double O. There are some gorgeous. Oh, is that Coca Bolo? Is it? Oh no, Madagascan rosewood. Madagascan rosewood. Gorgeous. Lovely. Right. Let's hope this last one's not a real real damp squib, a real boring one. But here we go. Okay, I actually think this is a custom, is it gonna be a custom version of a, oh no, look at that. Beautiful slope shoulder. Remind you of anything? Okay. Beautiful. So there we go. How many have we got there, Joel? Just make sure you're paying attention. 13, beautiful. Well, we'd really like to make it 12, wouldn't we? So if someone can come down and relieve us of one of them, that would be very good, or maybe all of them. So um, yeah, no close-ups, because I'm absolutely sweating after doing that. <sighs> right, so um, anyway, thanks for watching. Come down and check the guitars out. I'm sure you'll find um, there'll be something here for, for anyone. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye-bye.